A common pattern that I see with a lot of the clients I work with who are struggling in a relationship is this. They are committed, oftentimes unconsciously, to keeping the peace no matter what in their connection with the person they love. And I can say that that sounds like a virtuous desire, right? Let's have harmony. Let's avoid fighting if necessary. And oftentimes this outdated strategy stems from childhood where maybe having needs and desires and a conflict around them was unacceptable and it meant a loss of love when we were little. And so we bring that model of relating into our adult relationships. But unfortunately, this does not create a territory for a thriving relationship where both people feel alive, where both people feel free and attracted to each other and attracted to themselves. It often creates the opposite. It creates a relationship where we feel restricted, where we feel trapped, where we are in something that has no capacity to house our authentic desires and the real us. And so the way out of this is to start to see that rupture is necessary in a relationship if you want it to survive, if you want it to be healthy and thrive. That all relationships, there's a guy named Terry Real who talks about this. He says that relationships go through harmony, rupture, repair, harmony, rupture, repair, harmony, rupture, repair, over and over again throughout the course of days, weeks, months. And the more that we can embrace this rupture and we can intentionally lean into it, the more that we're actually saying yes to bringing our full hearts, our full selves into the connection with the other person. And so I just think that reframe is really powerful because as we realize that creating rupture and having fights with our partner is part of loving them, is part of loving ourselves, we can kind of take the gloves off in a really loving, ferocious, honest, beautiful way. And when I say ferocious, I don't mean that we're fighting a toxic way, but I mean we're being very honest, we're owning our experience, we're taking responsibility for things, we're going after what we want lovingly and also unapologetically in the relationship. That kind of relationship is what will continue to evolve and break down and rebuild into stronger and stronger dimensions to where we end up creating something truly beautiful with another person where it becomes a life-giving territory that when we tap into it, we become more of ourselves. We become even more alive rather than the relationship being a place where we feel like we have to compromise in order to keep it alive. So try that on. And if you are wanting more relationship-saving insights and learning more about communication and leaning into rupture and being your authentic self in connection with people, like and follow for more.